Hey folks, Quillatine here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization VI. We are still playing as the incredibly technologically enlightened Romans. It has been, I think, about 700 years since we have fought a war, and in the meantime, we have simply been teching up like crazy, improving our infrastructure, and making our people that much happier. We do have some barbarians in the north that occasionally come and cause a little bit of issues for us, but I think we've mostly got them under control. I do th still think we're going to settle over here for some oil, although we do have some oil already. It's not bad idea to have a little bit more. I'm gonna open up some trade possibilities. The barbarians in the north, and there's some barbarians in the south over here. The the Congo people are still a little bit upset that we never did get around to spreading our religion to them. And they have a lot of troops over here by Antium, but so do we. Our, and our troops are a little bit more advanced, although we could theoretically get beaten by pure numbers should it come to blows. Uh, Antium does have pretty good walls, and it does have an encampment. I just realized what I should really do is make sure I've got a unit parked in the encampment itself so that it can't just be pillaged or anything like that at the start of the war. We have discovered the other continent, full of even more primitive nations, something called American Knights and Germaniums? We're not entirely sure how to pronounce their names, they've got such bizarre languages, and we're not really interested in making friends with more primitive people. We should probably map out the rest of the continent at some point, we have a feeling that there might be at least one more person hiding out in the, the fog over there. But we are mostly interested in the skies, we have researched the ability to build rockets and satellites. Um, we haven't actually launched any yet, but we're working our way up, we're just trying to get our infrastructure finalized here. Most likely after Rome finishes its power plant, most likely then we will go ahead and start to build our first um, space base. Uh, see the Congo, they're very upset that we haven't spread the religion to them. They're worried that we're keeping our secrets for ourselves, and really that is what we're doing. I don't know if we can trust anyone else on the planet with the knowledge that Rome has acquired through through science and spiritual practices here. It's very important. A religion of conquestism? Yeah, we don't know if we can trust other people with that. So, our barbarians over here, a little bit of damage, but mostly fine. Ooh, minor defeat. Oh yeah, because this is an anti-cavalry unit, which has a penalty to fighting these other guys. Not, not that much, but some. I wonder if I should just fortify in place here, or... Whoa! Now the city's bombarding for 100. Very nice. Okay, so I'm feeling kind of okay. Looks like we still aren't going to defeat that, but what I will do is just fortify here then. We will get a little bit of healing, a little bit of a defensive boost, and we should be able to deal with them. I suppose I could just pull back and maybe pull the swordman into combat range, but that's going to be fine, and it gives us an opportunity to get more experience points on our pikemen. We should probably upgrade you. Meeting House is quite a nice uh, building. This is part of our religion. It's our unique building here for holy sites, and it does give us extra production and yet more faith, and we know that faith is a powerful tool. That being said, one of the things I want to do in Kyoto is build um, ships, so I think it's probably time that we go and start doing that. A production rate's still not through the roof over here or anything, but it should generally be okay. We need uranium if we want to build nuclear submarines, so I think for now we will just go ahead and build another battleship. It'll be good for exploration, but it will also uh, defend our shores from barbarians whether they're part of a so-called civilization or not. This builder over here, we have gone and built a quarry on the stone. Um, with Rome, probably another farm, especially here wouldn't be a bad idea for a little bit more adjacency bonus. We do need to keep some space empty for our eventual um, space stations, though. Oh, we've finally gone and picked up the niter over here. You know what? I'll just focus on improving that. That's going to be fine. Uh, Eiffel, right. What is your special thing? Oh yeah, you accelerate a wonder. Well, we haven't started building a wonder yet. I'm going to keep you in our back pocket for now. Another builder over here. I think it's probably fine, especially right here if I built the farm. It's adjacent to two, so there's like a nice bonus uh, going on there, so that seems pretty reasonable. We've got our mechanized infantry up north over here, and we're going to go and smash this barbarian encampment. Get a little bit of gold, which is great. What I should probably do, I suspect we've got an upgrade for this guy. He should probably upgrade to tanks. If we just, we may want to do that actually, and pull him back into friendly territory and upgrade him to something a little bit more potent. You want an embassy! We could just say no. Again, keep these barbarians out of our territory, but let's let's make a, a token effort to be kind. We do have to send some spies over there and make sure they don't do anything crazy. Ooh, Germany's expanding, see? I don't know if we can trust these people, but I have no intention of going to war. We're just going to go into space, and then the world will acknowledge us as the most potent and impressive civilization that there is. We'd like to improve the other aluminum, but I don't think we're going to go and purchase that tile, even though we do have a fair amount of money. I wonder, is there a great person we could rush at this point? Prices are going up. We could get Horatio Nelson over here, Captain Nelson, but I don't think we need a naval person. No, 
I think we're okay without that. We could get this great artist, and I think I am going to do that. Let me see here. So these presumably are works of art or something. It doesn't actually mouse over over here. Oh, they're religious. Okay, and let's take a look at our great works over here. So you can store a religious work. These temples store relics, though. Which is different from a religious, I don't know, icon or artwork. That's interesting. So what do we need to be able to store the other thing? So if we got that great artist and used him, presumably we'd only be able to store one in the palace and that's it. However, I think it's three charges. We could get him now, use one charge and put it in the palace and then just have him sit around for a while. But I don't think that's a very good use of our faith. I mean, maybe we'll use it later on, but we could also just save the faith to do something more potent or powerful. So I think we'll hold off. But that's kind of interesting. Again, we're waiting for a good opportunity to produce a good wonder. Uh, you, yeah, I'm going to bring you in here and upgrade you to an, an anti-tank crew. I mean, we're not worried about tanks, but it is just a more powerful anti-cavalry unit because tanks are considered to be cavalry. I, I think I said I'd upgrade him to a tank. I, I meant anti-tank because obviously you wouldn't be able to upgrade a anti-cavalry to a cavalry. I think I'm going to move you back over here and then just park you. You'll probably be near things. We still need archaeologists as well. I mean, it's one of those things where you need everything. Part of the reason that it feels like, oh my god, there's so much to build and we're forever behind is A, my production rates weren't necessarily good early on, and B, we are doing very well on the science front. As such, we are developing new things faster than we can necessarily use them. I do also want a settler over here. Um, it's a good spot, and if I don't settle here, apparently we'll just get a billion barbarians forever. Although, I guess I could settle here and then build a really good district there. That's something to consider. Um, the difference being, if I settle here, one, two, three, oh. One, two, three, eh, we don't get the fish regardless. I guess if I settle here, I can get this aluminum, but Nagoya will already get that. So I guess I will settle here. It's not too close to Kyoto, no. I'll settle here and that'll be a good spot for a district. Okay, but we need to find time to put in the, um, the settlers. Okay, so we're going to build a lumber mill over here, get a bit more production over there. And I think these, um... These builders really should go and assist my new cities and really try to get them up. We're talking about leaving some space here for some of these districts, but... Oh yeah, I can't build farms in the tundra. That might be a really good um, use of spending some money to buy some tiles on the grassland, actually. I may indeed do that. You are going to go and improve the niter over here, giving us some more production in Kumai, assuming it's being worked at all. First spies coming online. I think what we're going to do, we should probably send one to the Congo, because I don't really trust them. I, and I haven't used spies yet, so I'm quite curious. And then after that, probably send it to, I guess, America. That's the closest civilization to us on the other continent. Well, depending on how the world goes around. We have actually proved the world is round, so that's interesting. Uh, oh, we have progress towards suffrage. Women in your empire have clamored for proper sanitation. Having won that battle, they now need the right to vote. Robotics so, has been around forever. And hello, it's robot. Been the next best thing forever. And it's so exciting and compelling that it's easy to get carried away. So, suffrage got boosted probably from, I'm assuming, like the sewers or something like that. Where is suffrage? Oh, it's not, it's not going to be in here. It's going to be in civics. Still not used to the idea of two tech trees. How do I... Fa oh, there's the bar. Mm, da, ba, ba. Oh, wow, quite far. Yeah, build four sewers, and we've got that boost already. Crazy. Or have we? Because it hasn't turned pink down here. Whereas these have. I mean, we did get the inspiration, but did we get the inspiration from something else? It's possible. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we are actually working on our power plants here for the advanced ballistics. I guess we'll get command arms. We've, we haven't built an airstrip, but we did get an inspiration for it at some point, probably from one of our buildings or wonders. Uh, trade route. Yeah, let's get back to you in a second here. Uh, Kumai, go ahead and build me a settler. And over here, you can build me a settler as well, please, and thank you. Way, way, way over here. We're good on amenities and housing. We might still want to put in a granary for just the plus one food to grow a little bit faster, but I think the thing to do... Actually, we need to improve your sea resources, but uh, build that harbor. Um, and building it here, at least it's going to be adjacent to one thing. So I guess that's going to be fine. It's going to give you a good spot for it. We may want some walls here at some point, too. All right, so what I want to know is where exactly is that trader? 
an envoy. Oh, in Jerusalem. Well, we may as well go ahead and get the first rank over here. Get a little bit of faith for free. Or a little bit of culture for free. Either one. Because um, we are suzerain of everything that we have access to until now. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I could have switched my social policy to get the two envoys for the prices one to start off with, but... Okay, you've got that. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is you're going to go there, and I'm going to buy... Sorry, wrong button. Buy this tile. Very expensive, but I think that's worth it, and go ahead and build the farm. And you, I'm assuming, will start working that tile. Shouldn't have to manage you. Now, you haven't started yet, but if I just, like... Even without doing anything, at the end of the turn, they would have recalculated their tiles, and they're indeed going to work that for a little bit of extra food so that you can grow a little bit faster. Great stuff. All right. Oh! Select a city to target for espionage. So, I mean, we've got your defensive stuff, and... Well, this is probably showing me what districts are there, but we've also got offensive ideas, including districts in certain places. So, let's send you to presumably the capital of the Congo, and they have something with districts. Haven't done this yet. Oh! 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 Possible missions. Gain sources. Spies will operate at two levels higher for 24 turns. Okay, so we put it in the city center. It'll take eight turns to do, 100% chance of success, presumably. And then the spies will simply be more powerful for a while, which is good. Listing post increases disp diplomatic visibility by one rank, so we can see what they're thinking a little bit more. We could siphon funds from their commercial hub. Gain the gold yields of Congo during the mission's duration. So this would result in 260 gold, 16 gold, but presumably only has a 50% chance to, to succeed, and they have no tech to steal. So I guess, you know what, we'll start with gain sources. Okay, so we don't pick it right now. We just say we're sending you to the Congo. Alright, confirm placement. It'll take you a certain amount of turns to get there. And then presumably we start running missions. Alright, well we'll see how it works soon. Um, I think, since this is a grassland hill, we should be able to build a farm on that. And I will do that because we're a little shy on food over here. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta remember that I can do the fish as well. The anti-tank group, I could go and heal you. But I think we'll do this. We're strong enough that you can get very decisive victories here. All right, and we've got a trade route here in Velitra. So the question is, is that where I want to keep you? I think what I'm going to do, and you get all the roads automatically, is I was going to send you to the far end of my continent. I want to actually send you to this city. Putaioli. I don't know. Put put town. We're going to send you over here because then when I send a trade route, if I send you way over here, you'll go through a lot of trading posts, probably result in a whole lot of extra money, um, which is helpful. Build a campus in Manchester. Okay. Good for them. Learn the value of technology. Ooh. Better to fight for something than live for nothing. Aircraft carrier can fit airplanes and then the destroyer unit as well. Strongest melee naval unit. Reveals submarines within range as well. That sounds kind of handy. Um, we do have the power plants coming. I don't think we're planning on building the aerodrome soon, so I'm going to do that. Again, I could be looking at, you know, what we could get to in the future, but for now, that's going to be okay. Nagoya's production's actually gotten a lot better. So I'm actually going to transfer one of you to Aquila here. Um, because, there we go, this is also a new city and could use a little bit of a production boost. Mr. Eiffel is still not going to do anything. This builder... One, two, three. I think I'm going to build... Well, I can't because it's outside the borders, but I want to build a farm here eventually to buff this one. I guess we'll go ahead and build the um, um, the lumber mills. That's going to be okay. All right, you. So if I sort... If I go by production, it just filters by production. It doesn't actually sort by production, and I sort of wish it did. Uh, Ostia is still the maximum source of production. Is that the one we want to do? It's only one food. Like, food is good because you do grow the city as well. If we compare it to Kamai over here... We lose three production in exchange for three food, which is probably much more valuable at this point. So we're going to go ahead and run that one. Begin that route. Um, I mean, we can still get a decisive victory here. Eventually, we start to get a little bit uh, a little bit weakened. But yeah, I'll kill the uh, ranged unit and then potentially run away at that point. We'll see how it goes. Uh, another trade route in Nagoya. Is that what we want to keep doing? 
That's probably fine at this point. Although if I did put you on the coast, if I put you to Ostia, I might be able to run some overseas stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Ostia over there. I didn't remember in our trade route overview, we can look at available routes. Yeah, we can. There's a lot of options. Let's just go there for now. We'll see what happens. You are going to, yes, please build me a fishing boat over here for some extra food. Very nice. guess that's the end of that builder. We'll definitely have to send another one up to uh, Putt-Putt Town at some point. Next turn. America has built a Gurdwara. I don't know what that is. Yeah, there's a fair amount of damage. Also a scout over here, so there might be another... Um... Hey, we got a Eureka towards ballistics. Um, there might be another barbarian encampment over here. How come... Every now and again, the selection doesn't quite work the way you'd think. Uh, I'm going to get you to run right into the city. I realize you're not going to get very far right now. Maybe I should have done something different. Well, either way, people were going to be able to hunt you down, so that's fine. Entertainment complex completed. Very good. We could go and keep leveling that up, which would be nice. How's your housing? It's getting pretty full. You've got a bath already. Let's get you started on a sewer so that you can keep growing, please. Uh, here we've got plenty of space. Oh, we want to level up the encampment most likely. Or possibly the industrial zone. Actually, your production is pretty good right now. Is some of this coming in for trade? So you're getting an extra 1.2 from having five religious followers, and 1.2 from having extra amenities, which is very nice. The buildings, the districts, work tiles. Hmm. Getting the barracks. Also gives us an extra production. Also housing. And yeah, I don't want the stables. Yeah, let's just go right up this branch. It's going to be fine. Sounds like fun. Mr. Eiffel, we still don't have anything for you. This trader over here. Uh, show me everything. Okay, yeah, we still can't go overseas. We can get a little bit of science trading with these guys. Which isn't a bad thing. But I think we might trade with Zaragoza here for a total of seven total over here. Or Kumai, either way. I'm going to go to Zaragoza. It's actually a lot further. It's going to give us a little bit of extra science. I know, sounds like fun. Big, long trade route from one side of my empire to the other. And then we've got one from Aquila, which is our new city up front, up at the top. So this really needs to focus purely on, yeah, growth and production is going to be quite good. So let's get that one going on. Can we build more? We can actually build two more, which would be nice. These trade routes are incredibly powerful. It's funny that we're building so many internal ones, but we're not really on the sort of map where the international trade really pays off very well. So this builder over here, yeah, I don't know. I guess, oh, there are barbarians kicking around. I may actually not want to run up there. Let's actually go down there. We never hooked up these sheep. So that will be good. We'll wait for this to get cleared out a little bit. I'm worried that this trader is going to get eaten by the scout, but what can we do about it? Um, I guess I can faith buy some units. Get another mechanized infantry. Moves at a speed of three, which is quite nice. Oh, we don't have the means for the tank. Yeah, what the hell? It's a lot of faith. You know, delays us getting another great person, but it actually turns out it will be pretty useful over there. Um, I can't protect you or anything. Damn, that is really annoying. You. Okay, but don't... There you go. Inter interesting. If I tell you to queue to the city, it won't end the turn. But if I tell you to queue up there, you realize, yeah, that's it. I guess I could have just told you to rest the turn. That would have worked out, too. Okay, didn't die there, but we did get plundered over there, which is really frustrating. Really frustrating. Uh, unfortunate. Okay, we've got a settler coming in. Um, what was the hermitage? Great artist points per turn. I mean, it's not bad. Although, I mean, we could build it around there. You know, that's not a bad thing to build, but uh, I don't know. I think it's fine that we keep working on other stuff. Um, housing is currently okay. So let's get the, let's get the arena because we can get to the zoo and give like more adjacency bonuses. And that's going to be fine. All right, you. Shoot that. You're going to move all the way up to here. You've still got nothing to do because we haven't started building one of the wonders. The settler, your job is going to be to go, yeah, up here. Does it matter which side? Actually, if I go here, then I can get the deer. Where's the, oh, no, either way, we can get there. That's fine. So I think I'm going to build it on the right-hand side. Although, if I'm on the left, then I can get the copper. Yeah, okay, so never mind. We're going to go build it there. 
I, I guess it depends on whether or not there'd be another city over here, but I guess either way we could build the city in that location. It doesn't make much of a difference. You're going to go ahead and build that lumber mill. Again, I'm a little bit worried about the food over here. For now, it's okay. Um, Congo progressed to the modern area. Congratulations to them. I mean, it's not the atomic age. Actually, have we even protected, um, progressed past? Yeah, we're in the information age at that. So, you know, we're two full eras above our opposition. All right, it is now time for us to build our spaceport, finally. Finally build our spaceport. I think I'm going to build it right here. It doesn't look like there's any particular bonuses to anything. Although, although, this is an industrial zone. This is a campus. So, this is a good spot for potentially building in a district. So, I will build it a little further away over here. Um, because, wait, hold on. Or does this count as a district? I think it does. Um, how do I... Ooh, what's Ruhr Valley? Plus 30% production in the city, and plus one production for each mine and quarry in this city. What? Must be built along a river adjacent to an industrial zone with a factory. Ooh. Ooh, damn. That's going to replace the quarry, which is one of the things that gets buffed from this. Oh, man, that, that really sucks. Um, but yeah, hold on. Let me change city production to, like, a unit for a second. And then change back to the spaceport, which is a district. Uh, oh, can I not cancel? It still remembers a spot. Because I would say, because it's a district, I wish I could build it here to get an adjacency bonus over there. There's got to be a way to change my mind where something is going to get built. But I guess it stayed in a queue or something, but you can't really access the queue. Oh, well, just build it there. We'll end up building another district there later on, or some damn thing. Um, I want to check that... Um, Great person only accelerates wonders, right? Yeah. Doesn't give me production towards other things, which is a little bit unfortunate. Alright, we got the extra couple of settlers underway, so I don't really have to build anything else over here. Yeah, I don't care about that. We might do some of the great lighthouses or something like that. Um, I think I'm okay on units, although, you know what we don't have here? I don't... Now, well, the Congo could sh suddenly show up near Zaragoza. I think... Wait, do we already have walls? I mean, we must. We must because it's not in the list. Just ancient walls. How come I... Am I not crazy, or should the better walls not be under the city center list here? Oh, well, whatever. Um, I need a higher population to build any new districts. These haven't been really developed very much. I mean, we always want more tech, but I think going for the factory is going to be okay, because then we can just build everything else a little bit faster. I mean, our tech rate is really good right now. What we need to do is improve our production. Um, I could squeeze in that workshop. I'm still looking at maybe improving the armory. The armory does give us even more production as well, so... I should probably prioritize those encampments more in the future. The fact that they give us both housing and production makes them a lot more tempting than I've been giving them credit for. Need to build more trade routes soon. Since they got plundered. Uh, we're going to get you to go up there. Next turn. The ATAT -AT crew. Just fortify until healed, and then we'll move you out. I will destroy my enemies, and if you continue to help them, I will destroy you as well. Who? What? Who am I helping? Alright, whatever. He's got some sort of plan. I guess I could go and, and check on him now to find out what his agendas are. Because I may have enough information for both. We know that Teddy here is an environmentalist. Has learned a way of combining two units into larger scale core. Really? These core units are much more powerful than their singular... Formation. Formations allow you to easily move units together. They can be useful for escorting civilian units. Yes, I know about that. Starting the industrial era after completing the nationalism civic, players will be able to unlock the ability to combine multiple military units of the same type into a single stronger unit. Two military units of the same type will be able to combine to create a core, giving them plus 10 to their base combat strength. 
After researching mobilization, three units of the same type may be combined, giving plus seven to their base combat strength. Keep in mind their HP is not increased when the units are combined in this way. Once a core or army has been formed, the units may not be broken apart into individual units again. The experience and promotion of the highest experience unit is preserved when creating this type of formation, so it's beneficial to combine rookies with more experienced units. Naval units may also be com combined into fleets and Human armadas. Nature, as manifested in tribalism and nationalism, Provides the momentum of the machinery of human evolution. Okay. Um, I still don't think I'm happy with this stuff for now. Uh, have we gotten this? Yes. This must have already completed. It's kind of weird that it still shows. Yeah, yeah, it's in pink over here. So we got that bonus from urbanization, and clearly Rome is larger. So we will go and um, and grab that because we do have the discount at this point. I don't know if we're planning on building any of the cannons. We're getting the discount to Scorched Earth. That's going to be okay. Settler completed over here. Housing is fine. Not a ton of room, but it's there. We've got lots of amenities right now, but if we do get the zoo, then it will spread out to adjacent cities, which is a pretty good uh, boost. We may as well do go ahead and do that. Um... You have completed the harbor, well, rather repaired the harbor, which is good. Um, I would like to get the lighthouse for the extra food, but I'm actually thinking that what I might want to do is keep a naval unit over here to guard the coast against barbarians. You are just going to fortify where you are and hang out. You are going to do nothing, Mr. A Eiffel. Uh, the hell? I'm um, please waiting. I hope this guy just finished his move, because otherwise we're going to have a really bad day. On this one matter, Satan and the Lord are in agreement. <laughs> Good quote. Um, run away. Hopefully out of vision range of this. So it can just kill itself on my infantry. Advanced Ballistic, we've got the discount for it now, so we may as well just grab that. Plus it sounds like fun. And over here, your housing amenities are all good. Um, I think what we're planning on doing is upgrading uh, to potentially more. It's a good question. Upgrading either to more districts or upgrading our existing district. Because if we build, well, we need two to get the bonus. Yeah, I think we'll go to workshop, get the production up a little bit more. And maybe stop at that point and then concentrate on some extra districts up here. Um, things are teleporting around. Gustav, we've got nothing to do with you yet. Um, oh, the spy. There we go. So now I'm here. Now I can choose a mission. Okay, so let's make our spies even better, and then maybe we can more reliably steal money. It's not a whole lot of money to steal. I don't know. Just do the um, the listening post there. We'll get even more information on these guys. Sure, why not? You're going to work on a sheep. Germany has switched to theocracy. Germany has denounced the evil deeds of America. England used a catapult to clear a barbarian encampment. That's courage. fine. Is useless in the face of educated bullies. So this is a this is a support unit, anti-air support unit. Provides cover from air attacks up to one hex away from the weapon. That's quite cool. And a machine gun is a ranged weapon. It's only got a range of one. Seventy-five strength ain't bad. Although I don't think that's something that we're planning on doing anytime soon. Hey, let's research some nuclear fission. Boost through great scientist or spy. I wonder how the spy does it. Maybe if someone else already has it and we steal it or something like that. Let's just research it. Let's discover uranium. It'll give us something else to mine. Sounds like a lot of fun. Nagoya has completed a sewer, so its housing capacity is fine for now. Um, more tech, more factories. I think we're going to look into building one of the other types of encampment over here. Do we have an entertainment district over here or an Ostia? The answer is no. So if we build one in Nagoya, it should spread its bonus over here. I wonder, the sixth hex thing with the, uh, the, the higher level things, it says it spreads the bonus within six hexes. I've been assuming it's from the city, but I bet you it's from where you put the district. Is there anywhere we could put the district to take most advantage of it? I don't think it matters, although from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. I guess if I bought this tile, which I could do in one turn, or, oh no, two turns. I didn't realize our gold was getting so poor here. If I built it here, technically that would overlap on Rome. But Rome's already going to get one, and I don't know if they stack. And we're, money's expensive. Money's expensive. Yeah, that's a good way to talk. I'm just going to put it here. Money's valuable. We can use it for more things. I don't know if buying another tile there is going to be an important one to do. 
So, Madrid, which has some walls. It's got the harbor, which we just built. Um, have you been pillaged? Or, yeah, it looks like you are. We need a builder. We need to improve the harbor. But again, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop out a battleship to guard our coast. Actually, I'm going to go with a destroyer. Who knows when we might have to start dealing with submarine bullshit. And we're just going to park it off the coast to defend that. That's going to be okay. You've completed a builder, which is quite nice. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we might need more than one spaceport to really get going. Um, you know what? This is really fast to build. Gives us a little bit extra food and production. It's worth just popping down the watermill. I think that's going to be fine. And this settler... I think I was planning on doing that. I mean, I am planning on doing this regardless. So I will go ahead and do that now. That's going to be fine. And Mr. Eiffel's not going to do anything. You are going to go and smash the shit out of that guy. Easily. And you're going to move back over there. This builder has improved that. We're mostly guarded in the north. Um... Not really anything that needs to be improved, unless later on we get the ability to build farms on Tundra. There's not that much to do over here. But, there is some stuff to improve here by Putt-Putt Town, since their builder went away. So that's going to be fine. The sheep got built. Oh, this builder can go and fix the fish. And with that, we're going to put a cut in this video. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks. There's still this area here we've never explored. Because it's kind of surrounded by mountains. Is it still really, really, really cheap for us to faith by a scout? Oh, yeah. No, scouts aren't in the list. We can get rangers, which are fast-moving recon units, so they will get experience points for exploration. But other than that, I don't know. Oh, we can faith by the meeting house, and I think that's worthwhile doing. Now, you can't faith by the meeting house everywhere, because it does need to have a... Um, oh, I was already building. Oh, no, I wasn't building it. That's right. Because you do need to have a, um, a holy site with, I think, the shrine already in there, so it's going to be kind of limited, but it is nice when you can build that, because it does increase, I mean, it gives you more faith in the long run, um, but it also gives you um, more production, which is good. Okay, put a cut in here. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.